All right, students, since we're not together today, we're going to review our letter sounds so we can keep practicing them. So when you get back to school, it will look familiar again. We're going to go through each sound. So right here, what do you see? Good, you see a Z, and the Z says right. The Z says Z. So at first, we're going to go slow, and then we're going to pick up speed a little bit. And there might be a couple that I need to reteach you on, so just be patient with me. So the next slide, we have a letter, and you're going to say the sound. Ready? T. What is this sound? K. How about this one? Ah. Good. And A, or ah, was our letter of the week and sound of the week last week. G, O, M, J, A, D, I. Ooh, this is a tough one. TH actually makes two sounds together. We call this a digraph. Digraphs are two letters that make a special sound. And actually, TH makes two. We call it voiced and unvoiced. And the unvoiced one kind of sounds like a whisper. It makes the th sound, okay? And you put your tongue between your teeth and you go th. Then also, it makes the th sound, almost like, almost like it's buzzing in your throat. All right, so you can put your fingers on your throat and go like in the word this, okay? So it makes th and th. Next, next we have sh, and the sh sound makes the sh sound. Like when you enter the library, you must sh. All right, what is this sound? Just s, right? So s. W, w, W H makes the W sound just like the W. Y, V, X. Now we're gonna go a little faster. Are you ready? X, S, V, O, D, I, V, X. G, sh, h, m, mm, ch, a, good. All right, so the next part that we're going to do is our blending. So what we're going to do is you're going to see three letters on the screen, and we're going to blend them together. Now, something that you're going to notice is all of these letters have a special yellow card in the middle. That yellow card represents the vowel. What are our vowels? Do you remember from kindergarten? Right, they're A, E, I, O, U. And we are focusing on A, so we're going to do ah sounds in the middle, okay? So let's put the sound together, these sounds together. You ready? J, A, M. Mm. J, A, M. Mm. What does that make? Let's jump. Jam. Good job. And if I just get rid of the J, if I just pretend that that's not there, and I just look at A and M, mm, what does A and M mm say? Am. Good. So then you could change the beginning sound and make all kinds of words. What's a word that rhymes with jam? M. Mm, how about yummy honey ham? Right? Jam ham. Those rhyme. So if you know how to spell the last two sounds, you can make a lot of rhyming words. Let's do another one. This is not a real word. This is a silly word, but it could be used in a word part later. So let's go ahead and sound this out. J, A, T, J, A, T. A little faster. J, A, T, J, A, T. Good job. Next, we have, ooh, we just changed the beginning sound. R, A, T. Let's do 
Let's do it again. Er, at, a little faster, rat. What is that word? Rat. Good job. Now, what do you notice about the ending sound? The two ending sounds. We have at, at, at's a word. That's a word you can spell now because you know it's spelled A-T. But then you can change the beginning sound and make all kinds of rhyming words. Rat, cat, mat. What ones can you come up with? All right, let's do this one. This is another silly word. We call them nonsense words. Ready? But let's do the sounds for each letter. Y, a, t, y, a, t, y, a, t. Yet. Good job. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go through all the vowel sounds because we need to remember our vowel sounds. We're focusing on short A right now, and that's fine. But I want to review your vowel sounds because it's always important to keep up on those. So, what does this letter say? Ah! Right. I says... I. E says eh. I says I, as in zip. A says ah. U says uh, as in up. I says I. Good job. Now what we're going to do is a little dictation sentence. We're going to try and read this. You can try it and also write it if you would like to try to do that. That is kind of challenging, but if you know how to write and you want to try and spell it out, you go for it. You can follow along with us and copy the sentence down if you'd like. So I've got two sentences here. We're going to read them together. You ready? An fan the Ot, hot, p, an, pan. So let's reread that sentence. Ready? Fan the hot pan. What do you think that means? Sometimes when pans get really hot in the kitchen, you have to turn the fan on to kind of cool things off in the kitchen, or you have to fan it with your with your hand or towel. Don't do that without a grown up. But sometimes they get really hot, so you kind of gotta you know, get rid of the hot air in the room, okay? Otherwise, the fire alarm will go off, right? So fan the hot pan. And you'll notice that there's a period here, and we have a capital at the beginning of our sentence. And any time that we make a sentence, we want a capital at the beginning and punctuation at the end, a period or an exclamation point like you see down here. Let's read this sentence. Exclamation points tell us that this is either an exciting sentence or a scary sentence or... A crazy sentence. All right, so let's see what what kind it is. Let's sound out the words. Ready? Sam, 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 sat, sat, on, the, k, at, cat. What? Oh my goodness. Let's reread that. Sam sat on the cat. Oh no, I hope the poor kitty's okay. Sure he will be, he probably got away, right? All right guys, that's all for today. Good job working on your letter sounds and your blending. Keep up the good work and you can watch this video again if you want more practice.